This is a tutorial on nonlinear regression um, with Python. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to take um, some data and then a model. And then we want to try to fit the model parameters to the data. So in this case, we have XM and YM. And maybe um, you know, uh, data that, that we have in that. Uh, and then a model. In this case, we'll just do A plus B divided by X plus C times natural log of X. And we want to try to fit the parameters, the unknown parameters, A, B, and C uh, to this data right here. And then we're going to use a script. Um, you know, we can use uh, Python, we can use MATLAB, um, we can use Julia. In this case, um, we're just going to show how to use this, uh, do this in Python. Okay, so we have a data file. Let's go ahead and talk about that first. You can come up with your own data file for this example, or you can download an example data file. Um, just come to apmonitor.com slash CHE 263. And then if you scroll down to the Python section, you're going to see uh, data regression. So if you open that up, the first example is going to be a linear polynomial regression. Uh, the second one is going to be a Python nonlinear regression example source code. Just go ahead and download that and open it up. Okay, so the two files that you'll need for this example are the apm.py and then data.csv just to get started. We'll create uh, the model.apm and then the regression.py in just a second. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and create just a new folder on my desktop. Um, and I'll call this uh, regression. And then I will paste those two files in there that I just downloaded. Oh, let me um, delete that. Okay, sorry about that. I'll go ahead and delete this. And then I'll paste in um, my two files. Okay, so I have my data.csv. If you just open that up with a notepad, uh, you'll see that it's just XM and YM, my measured X and my uh, measured Y values. Okay, just separated by commas. If you open it up in Excel, just go ahead and double click on that. Um, then uh, you have XM and uh, YM. Okay, so that is my data file. You can include any data you want. This is just the AP Monitor uh, Python um, package. And so if you just look at this, it's just a collection of scripts that allow you to run optimization problems. You can also get that from the um, apmonitor.com uh, website, um, just APM Python, and you can get it from Git or download it from that zip file. Okay, so those are the two files that I'm going to start with. Now let's go ahead and create a model file. So we want to try to fit unknown coefficients in a model. I'll just call this one model.apm. APM is just an extension. Um, you go ahead and change it. Um, if you have syntax highlighting, then it will, um, for example, Notepad++ or, or gedit, um, uh, it'll maybe be a little bit easier to read. Okay, so I'm going to have parameters, um, and then I'm going to have A, B, and C, and then I'll have XM and YM. So those are going to be my measured uh, values, and then my variables. I'm just going to have one variable, which is going to be Y. And then under equations, I'm going to have my correlation A plus B divided by X plus C times, uh, and in this case, in, uh, I'm going to put log of X. If I want log 10, then I just do log 10. But that's the natural log of X. And then I also want to try to minimize. Um, in this case, it's going to be uh, the function YM minus Y. Okay, and I could do that and then just square it. Or if I do divided by YM, then it's normalized. Okay, so here is my model. I have uh, parameters, uh, a variable, and then some equations. And I put my objective function here as my second equation. Okay, so that's a statement of my optimization problem. Now I need a Python script uh, to run this. So let's just go back to... Uh, this, I have my nonlinear regression. We downloaded the data file. Um, we also created a model file. 
Um, and then we also had an objective function okay, in, in the model. And now we're going to use the uh, Python script uh, to run it and then generate some results. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and just create a new script. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, just create a new text document. Um, and then I'll just call this uh, regression.py. Okay, and then I will edit. Um, let's go ahead and just edit with the IDLE editor. Um, actually, I'll do this with Notepad++ instead. Okay, so um, here is my regression.py. So the first thing I want to do, I want to do from APM import um, everything. So that's just going to import that APM.py file that I have there. And then I want to create. Um, I want to um, go ahead and specify a new server where I want to calculate these things. Okay, and then also an application name. I'll just call this uh, regress. Okay, regression. All right, um, and then what I want to do is just clear um, any application by that name on the server. So I'll issue the clear all command with my server and application name there. Okay, the next thing I need to do is just load in my model file. And uh, that one I just called model.apm. And then my data file, I'll do that with CSV load. Um, and I think I just called that data.csv. Okay, but whatever file you had, um, it saved as, just go ahead and load that in. Uh, the other thing I want to do now is uh, set up my parameters. Okay, this is uh, FV fixed value. Um, and uh, so it just says make one value for all of my data sets. And um, if you come here, uh, let's just do um, MVCVs. Let's just see if it comes up with, uh, let's see. Okay, so here's some information on the different types of, um, with this APM info, how you can specify fixed values are going to be constant over all the um, data points. For dynamic parameter estimation, you have like a manipulated variable, state variable, a controlled variable. Anyway, the, for the parameters, we just want to call them FBs. Okay, so um, I'm going I'm going to uh, copy this for B and um, C as well. B and then C. And then the next thing I want to do is tell the solver that it can use these values. So I'm just going to, with APM option, I'm going to specify a new option. Uh, now that I have uh, A declared as a FV, it has a number of properties. One of those is status. And I'm just going to turn it on. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing for B and for uh, C as well. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is change the mode of simulation, um, the I mode, uh, and I'm going to change that to mode 2. Okay, so let's do another search on that. Okay, let's see, modes of operation, the second link there. So it's 1 through 9. Uh, you can see the different modes of simulation with you know, if you have model and data, you can do dynamic or steady state parameter estimation. In this case, we're just going to do I mode 2, um, which is model parameter update. Okay, um, let's go back here. Um, and then I want to solve this now. Um, and I do that by issuing the solve command. And uh, I'll just go ahead and print uh, the output. Okay, let's go ahead and just do this now. Um, Let's go ahead and run this. Um, I'll go ahead and just edit it with IDLE. And if I click Run or F5, then it will run it. And let's see if it comes up with a successful solution. OK, so um, it says that there is an error in the syntax of the function string invalid element x. So let's go back to our model file and just see what we did. OK, so there is no x declared, so we're just going to put in the x measured values. Okay, so an error there that we um, just corrected. We'll go ahead and close uh, in, in uh, let's see, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just run this again, 
and we'll do a um, see the output for the solver optimization. Okay, so it's a successful solution, and we see the solver time and the objective function there. Okay, so now the next step um, that I want to do, I'll just go ahead and keep running this from um, this IDLE editor. Um, we'll go ahead and retrieve uh, the solution with an APM SOL uh, function, and then uh, we'll print um, the solution as well. So let me just make a little header there, and then print, and um, we'll say that that is going to be A equals, and then I'll make a string out of the uh, solution that comes back. So I could put A, that's going to uh, report the value of A at all the different points, but I just want to take the first one. Okay, and um, let me close parentheses there, and then copy this for B and C. Okay, so B and then C. Okay, so now I just want to see the parameter values and I'm just going to print those out after it solves. So let me go ahead and run this um, one more time. And let's see what values the A, B, and C are just shown there at the bottom. Um, so it came up with an optimized uh, solution and they're the coefficients of my nonlinear. Um, my nonlinear problem, but let's go ahead and just also plot the solution. So those are the A, B, and C. We saw the objective function values, um, but for this, I'm going to need to uh, import matplotlib.pyplot, um, and I'll import um, everything from that, and then I'll just create a new figure one, um, and I'll plot the value of Z, um, the XM element of Z. Okay, and then I'll also do a YM element and I'll put those as uh, circles, okay? And then I'll also plot, um, I'll just copy this line. Let me go ahead and plot the model values as well. Okay, and then I'll just put those as X's. Okay, and then let me do uh, an X label and then a Y label, okay, and then um, I'll do a legend as well, just so we can keep track of which ones uh, those are. Okay, so we'll do the first one is gonna be measured, and then the second one will be predicted. Okay, and then we'll show the plot as a final step there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. Um, it'll give us the same answer as before, but then it'll also um, produce this um, plot. Okay, so there we can see the plot of the measured and predicted values. A lot of those are nearly on top of each other. There's a little bit of noise in the data, but overall, a very good fit. Okay, so let's just review um, what we did. We came up with a data file. Um, we created a model that we think best describes that data and then fit these unknown parameters within this model and then we solved it in Python. Okay, so just a couple additional um, tutorials. Um, there's also the same example in Excel um, or um, there's the same example in MATLAB as well.